It's another Ghost Host upload, and today we're going to be talking about the racism controversy surrounding Disney Channel's new show, Primos. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to hit that bell to stay notified whenever I drop a new one. Okay, so I've been gone on like a week-long vacation, that's why I'm kind of covering this topic late, otherwise I would have got to it sooner. And that also is going to be like if my voice sounds a little bit different in this video, it's because I kind of lost my voice over the week. So yeah. Yeah, just be aware of those two things uh yeah if i don't sound like the same okay so anyways if you're unaware of this situation i'm going to provide some context real quick and trust me it gets pretty wild once you really start getting into things so disney's youtube channel just dropped the theme song of their new show primos and the show was about a 10 year old girl named tater who has her 12 cousins or primos move in for the summer and she has to adapt to her new life living with so many people. Some people online were uncomfortable or upset with the appearance and the names of some of the characters, believing that the show was more stereotypical than genuine, but that's just where the controversy begins, really. So another thing that people were upset about, the name of the town that the show takes place in, translates to Earthquake or Quake Heights. And I saw some backlash online from people who claim that the name itself is super insensitive since many Latin American countries have suffered from numerous devastating earthquakes that have claimed countless lives. So it doesn't look good nor make sense really to name your city in your show after a source of tragedy for your target demographic. Like I, I just have no idea why they would ever do that or think that that was a good idea. But that's not even like it. The main spark for this controversy is a part in the theme song where Tater, the main character, says Oye Primos. Now, if you're not a Spanish speaker, this may seem fine, but real Spanish speakers realize that this is actually like incorrect grammar. It should be Oigan Primos, not Oye Primos, because Primos is plural. And this improper Spanish in the theme song got people upset as some began to question whether the show was trying to be an honest depiction of a Latino family or a stereotypical one. It definitely does look really bad to have an egregious Spanish error in your show targeting a Latino demographic. So some of you may be thinking like, how could Disney mess up that bad? Well, actually, or apparently, the show's creator explained in an interview that the show, Primos, is based off of her lived experience, and her goal with the show is to try to relate to other children who may have grew up in Latin American families and may have felt like they were caught between two different cultures, but not fully accepted by either one. In that interview, she also claims that she didn't really speak that much Spanish or know that much growing up but still felt connected to her Latino side of the family. If you want more info on all of this, I highly recommend you check out Alpha J Show's video on this topic. Link will be in the description. He does a phenomenal job of breaking everything down, and I definitely got some of my info from his video. So, the improper Spanish could be interpreted as intentional by the creator of the show to reflect her lived experience, but here's the only problem with that. Everyone who didn't see this interview or know the possible implications behind the blatantly and obviously incorrect Spanish is automatically going to assume that it was a mistake and that Disney's new show Primos may not be a genuine attempt to depict the Latin American family. That's like me saying something that seems racist in a video on my channel that gets thousands of views and then in like a community post that maybe gets like a hundred views, I logically explain why my statement was actually not racist. For the majority of people who didn't see my post but saw my video, yeah, I'm going to look racist for my remarks. And the same thing applies to Disney for their show, Primos. But everything so far pales in comparison to what we're going to talk about next. So the voice actress for the main character, Tater, went to social media to defend the show, and she did so in probably like the worst way possible. I'm going to play the clip really quick where she just like defends the show, and then we're going to talk about it. The Spanish language is not a Latin American language. It's a language the Spanish conquistadors forced upon Latin American people. The only reason we're Latin people and not Native American people is because of that distinction. 
So be mad at me all you want for misspelling words in Spanish. Be mad at me all you want for mispronouncing words in Spanish. That doesn't take away from the fact that I am a Mexican-American, Native American woman. We're trying to make a good show for kids. For kids that feel left out. For kids that are different. For kids who don't have a full grasp on any language, no matter where they live. And if you're going to be mad at that, mm, I don't know. Be mad then. Okay, usually when an actress or actor publicly defends a show by basically just saying that the audience is wrong and then antagonizes the audience, yeah, that like never goes well. We saw a similar situation happen with the live action Cowboy Bebop show where the main actress antagonized the audience, but even that one made a little more sense than this. So let's just break down what she said here, okay? First of all, she started off by saying that Spanish is not a Latin American language because Spanish conquistadors forced the language on native people and that's the only reason they are Latin American and not Native American. Okay, so are you trying to say that just because Spanish wasn't the language used by these Latin American people's ancestors like over 400 years ago, that that means that Spanish is not a legitimate language for them to be proud to use and you can just intentionally misspell and mispronounce words in Spanish? That literally makes no sense. Like, I get that Spanish is not their original language, but the Latin American people have transformed the language forced on them by their oppressors and turned it into their own. With dozens of unique forms of Spanish in various regions and millions of pieces of art and literature being written and recorded in that language by the Latin American people. They are proud of what their language is today. And even though Spanish may have been forced on them from the start, the people have all rallied behind that language and transformed it into something that they are proud of. And you, even though you are a Mexican American, Native American woman, as you say, have no right to diminish their pride and respect of their language. Second of all, I'ma quote the eagle head from Spongebob in that one episode where Squidward has like a weird LSD trip or something. I don't appreciate your tone. Even if you wanted to disrespect the entire language of the Latin American people, you didn't have to be such a stuck up jerk about it with this like whiny mocking attitude that you have in this response. All that does is make people not want to listen to your side of the argument and hate you and your show even more. It literally just like does not help in any way. In her last little clip here, she says that they're trying to make a fun show that relates to kids who don't fully have a grasp on any language yet. And that point would have made a little more sense and probably helped a little if you didn't completely lose everyone with your first brain dead point. Without properly explaining that though in a very public setting, you can't just expect people to automatically know the real intentions behind why you are choosing to intentionally misspell or mispronounce words. Because without proper context, obviously people are going to assume that it's just misspelled because the people behind the show are incompetent or insensitive. So yeah, that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today with the show Primos. If you like this video, chances are you would thoroughly enjoy my other content, and I highly recommend subscribing and turning on notifications to stay informed on whenever I drop a new video. If you want to help me fulfill my dream of becoming a full-time content creator, then please spread this video around and put your friends on the quality content we got going on here at the channel, trying to reach 10,000 subs by the end of the year. Regardless though, I appreciate you all. Don't forget to let me know what you thought in the comments and I hope you enjoyed the video. Wow, my voice is gone. I'll catch you all on the next one and have a great day.